freedom. We're celebrating at a site where Josiah Huntoon and William Van Rensselaer helped people escape from slavery to freedom as a part of the Underground Railroad, which was neither underground nor was it a railroad, but a chain of humanitarians that cared enough to make sure that they would usher individuals safely to freedom. I want to thank the Van Rensselaer family. We appreciate the fact that we're preserving history here in the city of Patterson. As a matter of fact, this Freedom Bell Council President symbolizes the 13th Amendment, the 14th Amendment, the 15th Amendment, the Emancipation Proclamation, and the end of Reconstruction. But today it's a new beginning, a new beginning from for the Freedom Bell that represents what is positive here in Patterson and in the United States. States of America. And before I introduce our Master of Ceremonies, I'm proud to present a proclamation to a historic treasure that we have here in our city. Our historian, Mr. Jimmy Richardson. Give him a round of applause, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Show him some love, Irma. Give him a hug later. I know we have to social distance, but now with Jimmy. We love Jimmy. Jimmy is one of, one of us. So Jimmy, we acknowledge and appreciate all of your efforts, all that you have done to preserve heritage and history. And the mere fact that you enlighten us every time we are within your presence. And so for that, I hereby declare today Freedom Day in the city of Patterson and proudly present a proclamation to a living legend. That's it, Jimmy, you deserve it. You're gonna let him smell the flowers, right? Why do they have to smell your flowers at a funeral? You can't even smell them at a funeral. You're getting your roses today because we appreciate you immensely. Jimmy Richardson, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have another rousing round of applause for Jimmy Richardson. Dr. Rose, you can do better than that, please. I've seen your Bruce Springsteen concerts. He's only been to about 400. Is that a Guinness World Book of Records? Not yet. You knew that, Lorraine, you knew that. He's the boss, though. Forget about Bruce Springsteen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you the gentleman who's gonna MC the event this morning. The longtime friend serves on, on the Patterson Parking Authority's Board of Commissioners. And just like me, he's a long-suffering Mets fan, Giants fan, all of the above. But he's a proud Pattersonian. Let's give it up for Commissioner Dwayne Cox, President of the Patterson Parking Authority Commission. Come on, loud. Woo, 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 woo. There you go, church man, Elvis. else you chose yes. to be here. Yes. Well, we appreciate that. Uh, to get this thing started, I'm going to ask for Reverend Maven to come up and do yes. the invocation because we can't do anything until we have that. First, I greet you on behalf of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. Yes. Church of Harry Tubman, Frederick Douglass. Would you take a moment and bow to look to our Creator? We invoke the presence of God, our Creator, who created all men to be free. And we invoke the presence of our ancestors, those freedom fighters, those. Led Patterson in creating opportunities for liberty and justice and equality for all people. Grant us your peace and your grace. And may we continue to fight for racial equality and liberation of all people. We invite your presence, invoke your presence on this ceremony today. 
that you may be glorified and your people may be edified. We ask it all in thy name. Pledge of Allegiance, and I think it would be just fitting that the whole Huntoon Van Rensselaer Underground Railroad Foundation would come up. And I'd also like to ask Alexandria Van Rensselaer to come up, great great granddaughter, and Colleen Van Rensselaer, great granddaughter, to lead us into the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this point in the program, it's really apropos when we're talking about people that fought for freedom, fought for this, fought for that. Well, one of the greatest partisan freedom fighters ever is here. I'd like to introduce, my pleasure, Congressman Bill Pascrell. Oh. First, I can remember, we can remember, when I was the mayor of this city, we started this. And it was a dream, too. The Van Rensselaers are part of this town, whether they live here or not anymore, they're part of this town. So we're standing on sacred ground. standing here on these hallowed grounds in commemoration of Patterson's storied history. As soon as I'm done here, I'm already late down below. I got to run down there to Washington to take care of those bad boys. <laughs> we have a storied history, Patterson. We you know this is uh, American history. We've always known that our city and its people were a force for good. No one ever had to convince me that. God, how many times I lost the fight on the streets of this city. This is no more evident than through the work of Joshua Huntoon. A white man and William Van Rensselaer, a former black slave. These brave individuals risked everything to help Southern slaves in their quest for freedom. Many of the specifics are lost to time. while many of those specifics may be lost. We do know that over 100,000 formerly enslaved women and men took the Underground Railroad in their march towards freedom. Seven years ago, Patterson recognized Joshua and William as historic figures who helped countless families throw off the shackles of slavery. We do know that. Today we continue that march with the installation of the historic Freedom Bell. The bell will be sounded today in recognition of those who helped create this sacred space. Oh. We ring this bell for those who came before us. We ring the bell to recognize the work that all of us have done. Many times, unrecognized. 
The great leaders of this city never made the front page of the newspaper. Many of them were phantom citizens. They didn't wish to be known. They just wanted to help make the place better. If we had more people today, Mayor, who felt that here, we'd save a lot of money and we get accomplished what we want to accomplish. We ring this bell because we know that there's more work to be done than in the last six months I've been putting that in this country. Nothing, nothing will change your mind. Empowering our neighbors to live in this greatest of all nations to one of the most important things any of us can do. We look forward to standing together with you and to do the work in this city. One city, one community. I'm so honored to be here today. I had to change a lot of schedules to get here. People are cursing me out because I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but this is where I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. 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 I want to thank each and every one of you, most of you I do know, for what you've done. And nobody will ever know about it. True leadership is sounding the bell and not putting your name and a placard up over your head. That's not easy. We inhale the air of Washington. We inhale the, the air of City Hall. And we think we're above it all. Well, I got news for you. We are not. And please remember, after the bell is tolled, Please remember when you leave this place that we would not be here except for the Rensselaers. The Van Rensselaers have given more to this city than any millionaire or billionaire. They meant what they said. And they were relentless. It's a good word, right? Yes. yes. They were relentless. And I'm proud to be part of it. I still live here. <laughs> I will end with this story because I thought of the veterans when it happened. The day after I was elected to Congress, the folks in my neighborhood came to my house with fruit and plants to wish us good luck and to say farewell and don't forget us. And I said, are you throwing me out of the neighborhood? Don't you have to move? This is the mindset we got into in this country. This is where I grew up. Those slaves were never slaves. And when you enslave people, you will pay the price eventually. God bless America, and God bless the men and Salers. And God rest all the reminders of things past that are still true. Thank you for listening, and God bless, and have a great day. Thank you. Okay, at this time we're going to have a, a musical melody. Please do not stand because it's going to be a little long. So enjoy those seats while you can.
you, Ronald Foster. Very great job. Yes. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce my sister, my good friend, Assemblywoman Shavonda Sumter. Thank you. And, and I did not do that with this microphone. Uh, but to uh, the board of directors for the Parking Authority, to our Parking Authority director, to our mayor, to each of you, I greet you in love. I want to thank the mayor for continuing this great, great historical mission work. Uh, I stand before you as the Assemblywoman and also chair of the New Jersey Legislative Black Caucus, where we are fighting to make sure that we have a reparations task force bill go before the General Assembly, the Senate, and for our governor to sign. New Jersey has a history that's steeped, that's steeped in slavery, that's steeped. We also have trails that not only include Patterson, but also include Cape May and a port in Perth Amboy. We also have the first voter, first black voter in the state of New Jersey. What we're looking for, what we're, we're seeking with a reparations bill, which means to repair, is to create policy changes that are intentional, transformational, and strategic to address the systemic and structural harms that have been caused to black people in the state of New Jersey. So as you look at these monuments, and this has been a journey, I've come here as a youth for our Juneteenth celebration where we had a patch of dirt, but we still showed up for a patch of dirt to demark this very location that is sacred and hollow ground to the families that still live today to tell the story over 400 years later of the trails that were blazed. That is why it's important for us to have a state repository of thought leaders, which would include the Hutun and Van Rensselaer family, sharing the truth that those of us and those babies born today do not know. In the African history and in a lot of other cultures, storytelling is powerful. And that's how we stay connected to our roots. And unveiling this Freedom Bell today, unveiling this Freedom Bell today reminds us that there was a price that was paid and lives that were lost and strong, courageous partners in this journey. So today I am honored to stand here, which was once a patch of dirt that we came to pay homage to to now stand with beautiful plants before us, a gorgeous monument protected by wrought iron fence, maintained, maintained by the parking authority. Right. And the history lives on because of volunteers such as Jimmy Richardson, Jimmy. who makes sure Jimmy. that we celebrate our rich history and culture and partner to make sure that our truths are known and we will never forget. God bless. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblywoman, that was great. Uh, it's just not the people on one side, the people on the other side that made this part of the great. So I'd like now to introduce Assemblyman Gary Sher. You get to follow her. <laughs> How do I start my remarks here? And uh, I decided to say that I work for her in case you don't know. Mr. Mayor, yes, sir. ladies and gentlemen, in the shadow of America's largest sustained protest movement, our nation, state, and local communities continue to reckon with our shared histories, confronting past and present inequities that loom large in the lives of marginalized people. 402 years ago, the first enslaved Africans were brought to our shores, followed by Jim Crow, lynchings, redlinings, and massive incarcerations. Every small step towards progress, followed by reactionary backlash. To make America whole, 
we must hold up a mirror to the racism that shapes the lives of our communities and loosens all the chains that still holds America down. Today we celebrate the expansion of a monument dedicated to those who fought to make the ideals of our Constitution real for everyone, regardless of their skin color. In the history of the Underground Railroad, we find the story of an America in an eternal struggle to fulfill the promises of universal freedom. We stand inspired by the example of women and men who worked for a better day. The Huntoon Van Rensselaer Underground Railroad Foundation helped to create a monument dedicated to Patterson's participation in the Underground Railroad in Huntoon's Corner. The monument includes Josiah Huntoon and William Van Rensselaer, who helped enslave people on the road towards freedom. On this site, Huntoon's factory serves as a state safe house for those fleeing enslavement. A lantern was placed in the safe house tower, letting others know it was a safe place to stop. Through Huntoon Van Rensselaer Underground Railroad Foundation, the addition of the 1871 bill will help mark the significance of New Jersey's history in the Underground Railroad. Dolores Van Rensselaer, William Van Rensselaer's great-granddaughter, has been instrumental in celebrating the history of Patterson, ensuring this monument to liberation is a beacon for all of us. Today, we continue the work towards an aspirational America, which realizes the promises made in our founding documents. We continue to strive to make those promises true, even with those who have lived through inhumane bondage, through generations of segregation and exploitation, through a denial of their humanity and equality. Today, we celebrate a freedom that truly extends to all people. The wrongs of the past will not present, prevent New Jersey from leading this nation into the future. Together we can replace systemic discrimination with systemic liberation. Maya Angelou said, love recognizes no barriers, it jumps hurdles, leaps fences, penetrates walls to arrive at its destination full of hope. Ladies and gentlemen, we stand pledged to a different America, pledged to the America that all of us were taught about, to make that into a reality. And this monument today does just that. We have it in our power to change this great country, to make it live to the dream that it truly wishes to be. It is a tremendous task one that I follow my colleague in the assembly and so many others and all of you. May God continue to bless this great country. May he make the dream that was in America the reality of the America we wish it to be. Thank you so much. For your time.